It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once already. Today's winner goes on to take on Rogers Heights as we head toward the semifinals in this our 33rd year of competition on the Science Bowl. Test your own scientific literacy today and play along with us. Let's meet today's teams. First from Judge Sylvania Woods, would you please say hello to Michael Chroma, Diana Herrera Machaca, and Kyrie Hilton. And from Montpelier Elementary School, here they are, Matthew French, Christian Angion, and Jaden Haynes. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty. Easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10. Tougher ones, 15, 20, ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, we will have a competitor for Rogers Heights Elementary. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly. Let's go to that red team. Diana, would you try your buzzer? And everybody's given a push there. Good luck to you today and to Kyrie and to Michael. And Christian, how about the green teams? A-OK -okay as well. Good luck to you, to Jaden. Jaden and to Matthew, congratulations teams for making it this far in the competition. You guys are good players. We're going to have a great game today. We go alphabetically J before M. So Judge Woods, would you start the game for us, Diana? Uh, can I get green things for 15, please? Green things for 15 points. Teams, seedless watermelons come from plants that actually are seeded that have different numbers of chromosomes. So that seedless watermelon plant is a hybrid. Spell hybrid for 15 points. All right, Judge Woods. Pass it to Michael. Michael, say the word for me. Hybrid. Yes, sir. H-Y-B-R-I-D. Yes, sir. Nicely done. You got the points. Go again, Red. Super 8 for 10, please. Super parade for 10 points. Teams in Australia, there's a spiny anteater known as an echidna. And unlike most mammals, it is a monotreme, meaning it is not born it is rather hatched from a what? Montpelier. Egg. An egg, yes, indeed. And a baby echidna is called a puggle. Go again, Green. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade, 15 points. Teams, koalas are not primates like we are, but like us, koalas have these digits that are opposable on their hands. Judge Woods. Thumb. Thumbs, yes, they have an opposable thumb like we do. Good answer. Thank you, Kyrie, for your help. Go red. Uh, body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if you are a really courageous person, like you guys are, you're on Science Bowl, it took some, some courage to be here. I might say you have a lot of intestinal fortitude, or I might just say, you got a lot of what? Guts. Guts, that's right, good answer, go red. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, when uh, Galileo looked at Jupiter 400 years ago, he looked up in what he thought were stars, weren't stars because he saw them moving around Jupiter. Judge Woods? The moon? They were moons. Yeah, they were moons going around Jupiter. They were not stars at all. Good listening over there, Diana. Go. Science potpourri for 10, please. One again? Science potpourri for 10, please. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, the south coast of England has so many fossils that were found there that they have renamed it for this geological period when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Montpelier. Jurassic? Yes, they call it the Jurassic Coast. Yes, sir. 
Good. Go green. Mm -hmm. um, Zoop prayed for 20. Zoop prayed for 20 points. Teams, one of the best defenses of any insect is that of the bombardier beetle. It will shoot out boiling hot gases and acids at any predator, and those gases come out what third part of that insect's body? Montpelier. Its head. Not its head. No. These gases come out what third part of this bombardier beetle's body? Positive Kyrie. Tail. Say it again. Tail. No, it's called the abdomen. The abdomen. Head, thorax, and abdomen. The three divisions of an insect's body. Try again. Green. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, these things that erupt when you are cold or when you are scared can also make your hair grow. Just ask R.L. Stein. Christian. Passing to Matthew. Matthew. Albert Einstein. No. No. D Judge Woods. Hormones. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. R.L. Stein wrote goosebumps. You know, you get goosebumps when you get scared, when you're cold. Now we've discovered, some scientists have discovered that it actually promotes hair growth. Try again. Green. 70 to 105. You're on the uh, other end of that. Go, Christian. Science Popery for 15. Popery for 15 points. Teams, this country is in the mid of an opioid crisis. It's terrible. It is a drug that takes away pain, but it also brings pleasure. I will give you 15 points if you can spell opioid. Spell opioid for 15 points. Who's going to be my speller this time? Michael. Michael? Okay, Michael, you've had great success spelling. Say the word again for me. Opioid. Say it again. Opioid. Opioid or opioid? Yes. Opioid. Yes. Opioid. O P I O D. No, sir. Good try. Montpelier, can someone over there spell opioid? Someone's got to try. Okay, Matthew. O. So say it again for me. Opioid. Okay. O P Y I O D. O P I O D. O I D O P O I D. Try again, green. Um, Dayline science for 15. Dayline science for 15 points. Two part answer. I'm going to need two animals. Listen, the longest and the largest study of predator and prey in history has been shut down by the government shutdown. The two animals involved are North America's largest deer and North America's most famous and vicious canine. What two animals, the predator and the prey, are we talking about? North America's largest deer and North America's most familiar and meanest canine. We're talking about a moose and a wolf. All right, the buzzer has sounded. Our score at this juncture is Montpelier 70, Judge Woods 105, and we'll be back with the second part of today's game in just one moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us today. Hope you're able to keep up with our young people here today. As we said at the top of the show, they've already won once previously, and today's winner moves on in the competition. We started with 40 elementary schools. We'll be winnowing it down to the final four in the not-too-distant future. Let's go over to Judge Woods, Judge Sylvania Woods and Diana. Uh, we haven't seen your school here on the Science Bowl in many years, and boy, uh, you are playing so well today. Tell us how you prepared for the Science Bowl. Well, we watched a lot of old videos practicing with um, with my water bottle, so yeah. we would <laughs> press the water bottle. Press the water did. bottle. I like that. That's a great story. Now, Judge Woods is uh, here in the Landover area, yeah. and who's the principal over there? Miss Barber. Miss Barber, yes, and she's a wonderful principal, and uh, I know she was here for a previous game, and maybe she'll come out still if she's around. Tell us uh, uh, who your coach is. Our coach is Mr. Dedu and Mr. Richardson and Dr. Barnes. So you have three coaches mm -hmm. there, yeah, and they did a, a fantastic job because uh, you guys know your stuff here today. Tell me something about Judge Woods that, uh, that is just a great thing that you like to brag about. Well, our, our teachers and our PBIS events and, well, the teachers, like, they're really passionate and they, they, they make us, they make sure we understand what they're teaching us. Because yeah, everybody learns at a different rate. Yeah. So, you know, you don't want to leave anybody behind because then you get frustrated. So a skilled teacher, and you have skilled teachers there, they make sure everybody's coming along. No one, no child left behind. Mm -hmm. Tell us about yourself, Diana. What do you want to do someday? I want to become a physical therapist for kids. 
Yeah, because you were talking about on an earlier program that your mom needed some therapy on, on her feet, and you yeah. used to do that, and that inspired your career choice. I think that's remarkable and wonderful. Any alternates on your team? Oh, well, we have Natalie. Natalie, she'll be out in just a few moments' time here. Kyrie, our engineer in the making over there, right? Yeah. Uh, what do you like about this show? Why'd you want to do it? Because uh, uh, I like to sign up for, like, try new things, yeah. like, while I'm growing. That's right. It takes guts, as we were saying in one of our questions there. You know, you got to see what you're made of. How do I stack up against other people, accept challenges? You're doing all the right stuff. And you're a sportsman to begin with. You play basketball, don't you? Yeah. Michael, you're a great speller. Tell us, how do you, how do you spell so? Because I know you're a great science student. I know you study a lot and you keep up on the news. Uh, you should be in the spelling bee. You really should. Tell us more about yourself. What do you want to do someday? Um, uh, when I grow up, I want to uh, first... I want to work at Google to build money, and when I get enough money, I want to start my own gaming company, and we, I want to like sell video games and gaming consoles. You know, that's the American dream. You know, we all want to strike it rich somehow in what we do, and we also hope to make a difference while we do that. So I hope, hope you get to do both of those things. You're a good player. Montpelier, nice to have you guys here. Talk about good players. Christian, you're the man over there. You know your stuff. How do you know so much science? Because I, when, when I go home, I like reading, I like watching TV, and I, and I like to watch YouTube and watch different stuff about science. Yeah, you have a curiosity about yourself. You're always curious. You, you want to soak up as much information as you can. That's why you're doing so well here today. And someday you want to be? An engineer. An engineer as well, yeah. You want to design buildings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, some of the buildings like the the new Freedom Tower in New York that's 1,776 feet tall, just like the, the date of our independence here. You know, there's, there's a, a lot of history that goes into buildings as well. Tell us about your school. It's up there in Laurel. Who's your principal? Miss Furlow. Miss Furlow, yes. And Mr. Puteri is here. Mr. Michael Puteri, wonderful coach. Mike, thanks for all that you have done to get these kids ready for their competition because they are definitely prepared for this. Tell me any alternates on your team. Hayden. Hayden will be out in just a few moments time here. And brag about Montpelier. Um, uh, we have gardens, we have, we, we, we have. Green school, weren't you telling me about a green school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're trying to get to be a green school as well. And I know you have some great teachers we, out there. We have an outdoor classroom. Yeah, that's wonderful too. Especially when the weather gets kind of hot and better around here when the spring finally arrives. Jaden, nice to have you here today. Young man who knows his stuff, he studies his science, and he, it's demonstrated here today. And someday you want to be a doctor. Be a doctor. What kind of doctor? Have you thought about that yet? No. You have a lot of specialties, a lot of things you can choose from, though. I like your smile. You're, you're here and you're having a good time, and that means, that means everything. And Matthew, uh, tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I either like play video games or I go outside and play football or hockey. Wow, yeah. Ice hockey? Yes. Where do you play ice hockey? At the Gardens Ice House. Very nice, yeah. Do you go to the Caps games ever? Uh, yeah, I've been to a few. Wonderful, yeah. So that's a, get to see how the pros do it. And what do you want to do old, when you get older? Be a NHL player. Yeah. Oh, so you would like to be. All right, that's great. Well, uh, good luck on that dream too. Let's get back to our game. 70 Montpelier, 105 Judge Woods. Last correct answer came from Christian. Let's go. Zupre uh, 25. Zupre 25, big one in that category. Teams, unborn and unhatched birds and reptiles and mammals develop in something called an amniotic sac. But these kinds of animals that include salamanders and toads and frogs, they don't grow in amniotic sacs. Those animals are called these kinds of animals. Montpelier. Pathogen. Um, reptiles? Not reptiles, good try. As I was saying, birds and reptiles and mammals, they develop when they're unborn or unhatched in an amniotic sac. Not so this group of animals that include salamanders and frogs and toads. Passage of Kyrie. Amphibians? The amphibians, that's what I want to hear. Good, got yourself 25, go. Uh, green things for 25, please. Green things for 25 points. Teams, plants do not have arteries and veins like we do, but they do have vascular tissue known as xylem and this. Correct answer is phloem, P-H-L-O-E-M. Xylem and phloem. Try again, red. Uh, body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points.
teams, these color-sensitive photoreceptors in your eyes have what same name as these holders of ice cream scoops. Oh, Judge Cone, Co uh, Judge Woods. Cones. Cones, that's right, yes. <laughs> go, go Red. Uh, let's get physical nice. for 20, please. Let's get physical for 20 points. Two-part answer. Teams, everybody wants these things. The hardest mineral on Earth and the most precious of all metals. Everybody wants them? Give me both. Diamond and ruby? Not quite. Good try. The hardest minerals on Earth and this most precious of metals, both of which come from South Africa. Everybody wants them both. Oh. Pass it to Michael. Michael. Dang. Diamonds and emeralds? Diamonds and gold. Oh. Gold is the most precious metal. Go red. Um, let's get physical for five, please. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, your cell phone, your smartphone, your iPad, all your devices have batteries that contain the chemical element with the symbol L-I. L-I, Judge oh, Woods. P pass it to Michael. Lithium. Lithium, that's right, lithium batteries. A lot of them that we know explode sometimes on airplanes. You have to be very careful of those lithium batteries. Go red. Uh, science potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25, big one in that category. Teams, whether our winter is a bad one or not so bad is determined by something oftentimes called El Nino, which is a cold water current found in what body of water? What body of water, Montpelier? Passing to Matthew. Uh, lake. Nope. Specifically, specifically, El Nino, a cold water current that influences our weather, is found in what body of water for 25 points? Pass it to Michael. Michael. Pacific Ocean. You got it. Pacific Ocean. You got it. Yes, sir. Good. Red. I was thinking of that. Uh, body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, a few years ago, some NFL players took to this joint during the playing of the national anthem. Oh Judge Woods. Knee. The knee. Yes. That's right. Red. Uh, Dateline science for five, please. Dateline science for five points. Teams, at snack time, you might get a bag of potato chips, or now you might get a bag of chirps, which are these insects that have been fried and salted. Judge Woods. Crickets. Crickets, yeah, you can get a bag of fried crickets. If you don't know what they are, they don't taste half bad. Go red. Green things for five, please. Green things for five points. Teams, in England, dandelions are considered cultivated plants. You find them in gardens. In this country, they are considered plants that nobody wants. They're known as these. Weeds. Woods. They're weeds. <laughs> dandelions are weeds. That's it. Good. Go, Michael. Uh, green things for 10, please. Green things for 10 points. Teams at weddings, now they throw millet a kind of grain at the new bride and groom, instead of what traditional grain? Judge Woods? Flowers. Pass it to Kyrie. Flowers. No, not flower. Montpelier, what's the traditional grain that they throw at a bride and groom? They don't do it anymore because they found when birds ate it, it sometimes swelled up inside them. Rice. They used to throw rice at weddings. Now they throw millet, if they throw anything at all. Go again, Red. Inline science for 25, please. For 25 points is, the, is a visual question. 25 and Dateline. Look at the monitor, please, in the studio. This horrific animal, long since extinct, thank goodness, is called an ichthyosaur. Ich ichthyosaur simply tells you that it looks like it's what two animals join together. An ichthyosaur is what two animals join together. All right, Montpelier, have an answer for me in case I have to come to you. You saw the picture. What animals does it look like it was put together by? All right, Diana. Um, a velociraptor and a shark. Velociraptor and a shark. Good try. Not quite. Not quite. Judges? Judges? No? Okay, Montpelier? Passing it to Matthew. Mike, Matthew, what do um, you think? A swordfish and a shark. Swordfish and a shark. Well, they're both fish. It is part fish. Ichthyo means fish, and saurus means lizard. Fish lizard, like Tyrannosaurus or Brontosaurus. The saurus part always means lizard. Good. That was a tough question. No points. Go red. Green things for 20, please. Green things for 20 points. Teams, a geophyte is a plant like a tulip or a daffodil that has food stored in an organ underground. That organ has what same name 
Christian? Root. Not a root. This food storage organ for a tulip or a daffodil has what same name as the thing that you use to light up your room. Yeah. Candle. A bulb. A bulb. A tulip bulb and a daffodil. Kyrie says, I knew that. Go red. Um, this case, science. Science. Go ahead. Science potpourri for twenty. Science potpourri for twenty points. Teams, there's a TV show called MythBusters where they try to take apart things that people think are true and they want to prove whether or not they are or not. Now they have a group of kids like you on MythBusters for kids, and recently they all tried to make a parachute and they also tried to make a uh, a tire out of this kind of tape that is used for fixing just about everything, Montpelier. Duct tape. A duct tape, exactly right. Good, go Christian. Um, Zooprade for five. Zooprade for five points. Teams, according to Aesop's fable, even though he was naturally swifter, he got beat by a tortoise. Christian? A rabbit. A rabbit, a hare, that's it, go. Green. Let's say physical for 25. Physical for 25, big one in that category. Visual question, look at the monitor. Those giant screws are moving water in an amusement park from a lower portion to above. The man who invented these screws was a famous Greek. He also invented the odometer. He also did an experiment where he figured out how much gold was in a king's crown. And he famously jumped into his bathtub and yelled, Eureka! when he saw the water come up over the top. Who was that famous Greek? He was Archimedes. Archimedes screw. Go green. Go ahead, Christian. Um, let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. Teams, if you know Dr. Seuss, you know that there was a story about the kingdom of Did and Bartholomew, who made this substance with cornstarch and water yeah, Diana. Oobleck, yeah, that's right. And it fell from the sky because the king was tired of just ordinary rain and snow. Good answer, go. Party systems for 25, please. Party systems for 25 points. Your question is as follows. If you have uncombable hair, you have uncombable hair syndrome, which is caused by a defect in three genes. That defect has what M initialed term. When a gene changes, what is the M initial term M initial term that describes that. It is a mutation, a mutation. All right, we have just three questions left. Go, Diana? Dayline science for 10, please. Dayline science for 10 points. Multiple choice question teams in 1918. We celebrated or took note of the 100th anniversary of a terrible pandemic, a disease that went all around the world. Was it polio? Was it tuberculosis? Or was it influenza? Pass it to Kyrie. Tuberculosis. Say it again. Tuberculosis. No, sir. No. Was it polio, tuberculosis, or influenza, the pandemic that occurred in 1918? It's Matthew. Polio? Nope, it's the one neither of you chose. It was the flu. All right, the buzzer is sounded. That means our game is over, and it looks like Judge Woods has done it, and we'll be back with a wrap-up in a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Ball. Hope you enjoyed this game at home. Six young people demonstrating their scientific knowledge and also good sportsmanship. Our final tally today is Montpelier 95, Judge Woods 215. Michael and Diana and Kyrie, congratulations. <laughs> Natalie is back there. Their assistant principal, Ms. Buns, is here. Mr. Ledoux, Mr. Ro Richardson, uh, you got it together. We're going to see you against Rogers Heights. And a round of applause for the Montpelier team. Christian and Jaden and Matthew and Hayden. Mr. Butiri, thanks. We're glad to have Montpelier back in the game here. Thank you for watching today, too, and we'll see you next time on Science Bowl. Till then, Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.